Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm a stay at home mum to two girls and I upload videos on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday evening. So if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that my two loves are organising and budgeting. So today's video I'm combining the two and I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite budget organising solutions. I can't wait to share them with you so let's get straight in. So the first storage solutions that I thought I would share with you are these ones from Poundland. This you'll have seen in another video, I did this in a Poundland makeover challenge and it was only one pound from Poundland, it's beautiful pink milky glass, I will link the video above and I just fill this with cotton buds because I use cotton buds every day when I'm doing my makeup and it's really handy to have them on the top here and I can just grab them as I need them. The other thing I have here is this glass dish from Poundland and again that was in a recent video, excuse my tan legs, <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing my tan today. Um, this was a pound from Poundland and I used this one for cotton wool pads. So you'll see I've just got some in there for using with my toner and I just keep it in this dish and it looks really pretty but it also makes sure that they're very accessible. So the next thing I wanted to show you are these baskets again from Poundland. I've just got them on the shelving unit in Elle's bedroom and they are ideal for keeping kids toys. So I've got some blocks in this one. This one she's got her Doc McStuffin toys and they're nice and neat and tidy but also they're open so they're nice and easy for Elle to get into herself. And if Elle wants to take them out she can manage to do so herself. This is my Doc McStuffins. Is that your Doc McStuffins? This is my blocks. And that's your blocks, good this girl. This is my basket. That's your basket. And if she does want to take them downstairs, they are nice and easy for me to take down with the carry handles. So we can just take them downstairs and then when she's finished playing with them, we can take them back up and store them away. So the next thing I want to show you is this basket here. Again, I got this in a recent Poundland haul and I will link the video for you. And it's just a little shallow dish like this and it's perfect for keeping all my cleaning cloths together so they don't fall down the back of the shelves or anything like that. And it just keeps them all in one place. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is in my big haul cupboard and it is this bag here from Poundland. It says lingerie on it and it's meant to be for keeping laundry, I guess, like before you put it in the washing machine. I'm not really sure actually what you would use it for. It's quite thick and colourful. I don't think it would work as like a washing bag. Maybe it's more for putting laundry in. I'm not sure. But they had these in Poundland in different colours. I went for this like pale blue colour. They also had a pink and... I think maybe they had a lemon colour but anyway it's a drawstring bag and it comes with um, this ribbon and I've used it to store wrapping paper so I've just got it up on a hook um, on the wall and it just means that it keeps the floor space clear because before I had a tub on the floor where I kept my wrapping paper and I, like I say it used up floor space so now I can hang it up in the wall and it doesn't take up any space but it's easily accessible when I need some wrapping paper. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is this solution here and it is a little tub that I got from Home Bargains. It was only 49p and I've used two little command hooks which I'll show you here and then I just hook this on here and I use this for dishwasher tablets. Now obviously if you have small children that are going to get their hands on them you would want to have some safety locks on the cupboard or something but Elle's old enough that she knows not to touch them. So we have them in the cupboard like that and it means that our dishwasher's just here, so it means that when we need them, I just open up, I can grab a tablet really easily and pop it in the dishwasher. And under my kitchen sink, you will see I have another one of these baskets, which I use to store my cleaning solutions in here. And I have this one here, which I just got in a recent Poundland haul. It's a much bigger, deeper one. And I'm gonna start using that for my recycling because at the moment, we don't have anywhere in the house that we keep recycling. So we have to go out straight away with any recycling. So I thought I'd keep this under the sink and if there's any cardboard we can pop it in here or plastics and then once it's full we can just take it out and put it out the recycle bin. And the last thing I wanted to show you is this little clear pencil case that I picked up in Poundland. I can't remember if I got this in the like stationery section or whether it was a makeup one um, from like the makeup section but it was a pound regardless and Elle uses this to keep in her like little shopkins and little like PJ Masks characters she's got Paw Patrol, some Moana, a minion in here <laughs> and for all these tiny little bits and pieces that kids collect these are ideal because they're clear so they can see exactly what's in them and they're really handy as well for taking out and about she can just shove it in her toddler bag and take it when we go places and she loves playing with these if we go to a cafe for a coffee or something and um, she'll take this out and play with them 
Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you love organizing as much as I do, let me know in the comments with yes, Amy, I love organizing and we can make more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.